one of my favorite lip balms. It's from Glossier. I got this when I was in LA in 2019, but I bought about four or five of them when I was there. So yeah, they've lasted quite a while. I've been writing a little to-do list this morning for everything that I need to get done. Tomorrow is actually my brother's birthday, which is why I need to go and buy him a cake today. Eat healthy <laughs> and cook healthy food and go to the gym. And also just plan out some shoots and some ideas for different jobs that I've got on this week. Anyways, I'm going to get myself dressed and ready for the day now. So I will talk to you guys very soon. I have on my navy blue Converse's. These are the high tops. They're very comfortable. They also are quite padded as well. So they're a little bit different to the other high tops that I have. I've just got on these medium blue jeans from Thrill. I do think this is an Australian brand actually, but I'm not 100% sure. I was actually wearing this brown top in my last vlog and I really love it. So it's sort of like a ribbed material and it's from Gillian Bustred or something like that. I will obviously have a link below because I don't know how to pronounce it. And then the bag that I'm wearing is from the brand Boy. I really love it. The color is gorgeous and I feel like it's very autumn appropriate. I think I'm gonna have to bring a jacket with me as well because it's actually really cold outside today, which is just so annoying so over this weather already and we're not even in may so this is going to be a very long winter gone with this one from the frankie shop so this is their oversized men's or oversized boyfriend style black blazer as you can tell it is very oversized and i often wear this during winter just with like stockings and under the knee boots actually really loving all the tones in this outfit the blues and the maroons and brown colors together i feel like it looks really cute anyways let's go <laughs> decide what to wear today it's currently 16 to above 19 feels kind of cold and shitty out there though mm. oh my god my hair today sorry about my face all right i've just come up with this very basic outfit but anyways this is what i'm wearing so for my shoes i just have on these muji white sneakers for my jeans these are the ones that i've got from victoria and woods i think i got them maybe like the end of last year now so i'm not sure if these exact ones are still available or not just wearing a long sleeve white top from weekday store my blazer is like this greeny like olive khaki kind of color and this one is actually vintage i really love the cut of it and also the tiny little pocket i just feel like it's so cute and for my bag today i'm just going to take this one it is from the brand Havisk. So yeah, there we go. Outfit of the day. Also, just by the way, a little bedside table update. Please ignore the cords. I got this little stool yesterday from Ikea. And as you can see, I also invested in a new little plant because I've become plant obsessed. But that's a story for another day. I'm also thinking I'm going to get the same stool on the other side as well so that it looks a little bit more even. But I just give you guys that very quick little bedroom update before we head out. But anyways, let's go. Happy birthday! Thank you. Why right, do you think that my brother looks like me? What? <laughs> I feel like he looks so different. I just added in the second bedside table and I also just popped in a few little flowers as well to make it look extra cute. This is sort of a temporary setup as I'm not necessarily going to be in this room or this place for that much longer. But I just thought while I'm still here, it's nice to have my bedroom feel nice and especially given I spend so much time in my bedroom. So it is sort of nice to have a nice space. I'm just going to clean out this cupboard at the moment. It's currently so full that I almost can't close it. See what things I don't really need anymore and what I can hopefully get rid of. way too much exercise clothes which is why this cupboard keeps getting too full but nonetheless it does close now so ta-da and the next cupboard that i really need to tackle oh, <laughs> is my bag cupboard for that exact reason because things are just falling out of it and it is obviously very clearly not organized very well so i'm gonna do that soon but i don't think i'm gonna do it today as it kind of requires a little bit more planning and i sort of need to work out how i kind of want to place everything so that it sits a little bit better because as you can see it is currently a huge mess anyways i have just made myself a little lemongrass and ginger tea so i'm just going to 
drink this, get a little bit more work done, and then probably go for a walk soon as well. I'm currently trying to do at least 30 minutes of exercise every day at the moment, so it's probably like 3.30 or something, and I've yet to do anything. So yeah, I will definitely do something before the day ends. Hello. <laughs> it's so cute. afternoon guys welcome back it is currently a wednesday and wow we are way too zoomed in now so today has very much been a creating content at home kind of day so i haven't exactly put an outfit on to leave the house but i have probably worn at least four or five different outfits today i just haven't really filmed any of them but anyways i obviously didn't want to miss an outfit for wednesday so i thought i would show you guys what i'm wearing at the moment this outfit is probably not going to see the light of day today but i definitely will wear it at some point down the track so it kind of still works i think this entire outfit is actually from saint agni the dress slash top I mean, I think you could wear it as a dress, but it is technically a top. It's kind of made of this thick black knitted material. It is very comfortable. I'm also wearing the matching black trousers. And the shoes are these black leather sort of slit. I don't know. Would you call them loafers? Slides? I don't know how you would sort of describe this kind of shoe. But yeah, again, very, very comfortable and very cute. Also, I made so many more of these necklaces last night. In fact, Nick actually helped me make a couple as well, which was really fun. I do think I've got a new favorite one. So although I'm not actually wearing this outfit out today, unfortunately, because I'm literally going to be sitting here for the rest of the day editing all the footage that I shot today. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you guys what bag and what jacket I would style this outfit with. So given this outfit is pretty simple, I would say that for the bag, you could either go like a statement bag or you could just like continue the all black look and wear like the little Prada clear bag or something like that. But for something fun, I think I'm going to go a statement bag. So maybe this one. So now that I have this bag on with this outfit, I feel like it doesn't look bad with this look, but I also kind of feel like maybe the bag is a little bit too big. Just popped on my little Celine bag, and I definitely think that I like this better. So I've just tried a few different jackets on, and I do think that this outfit probably looks better without a jacket. So I probably opt to wear this little set on a day that's a little bit warmer than today. But if I had no choice but to wear a jacket with this outfit, this is probably the kind of jacket that I would go with. This is just one of my vintage beige blazers. I think it ties really well with the color of the bag. And given this is sort of more of a slimline jacket, it's not really oversized and boxy. I do think that it sort of goes with the style of this outfit. I also really quickly wanted to show you guys this invite that Celine sent me. They also sent me these really cool dice. And I think this is supposed to be a little clue ahead of the show tonight. So I'm so excited. I was actually thinking that I might just keep them next to my bed because they're really cool and just like have them say different things every day depending on what my mood is for the day or something like that. <laughs> So I've got on this blue turtleneck, which is the one that I got recently from Everlane. My very oversized trench coat, which you guys have definitely seen me wear many times before. I'm also wearing my green shopping bag from AS. I wear this bag all the time when I'm going away from cafes and do a bit of running around and that kind of thing because it does actually just fit so much stuff in it. I've got my laptop and accessories and water bottle and wallet and yeah, just everything in there, so that's always good. For the trousers, I'm just wearing these navy blue ones, which are from Acne Studios. Very comfortable, and yeah, I've had these for a few years now. And for my shoes, I'm just wearing these black platform shoes, and these are just from Grinson. So yeah, there we go. Outfit of the day. Maddie just dropped off these beautiful white flowers. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might already know what these flowers are for. After about one year of open house inspections, we have finally found our first home. And I am so incredibly excited. So our settlement is in for another 60 days, so I can't actually show you guys the place until then, but I think you're going to absolutely love it. And I also don't want to tell you guys yet what we ended up buying, as I kind of want to keep it as a secret, maybe for like another week. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a clue between now and then though, because otherwise it's gonna to be too hard to try and guess what we ended up buying 
buying because there are literally so many different types of properties on the market. There were two different types of properties that we narrowed our search down to. Single fronted or double fronted if possible, but probably more in our budget was a single fronted um, Victorian terrace home. And then the second property option that we were looking at was a warehouse conversion apartment. I'm just sitting on the floor now because I was getting sick of standing. <laughs> there were a few different types of properties that we went through during that time as well. We were considering getting units and townhouses. And we were also considering getting like new build apartments that have recently come up at one point considering buying something off the plan but that idea in the end didn't really seem to work for us because we kind of didn't want to have to wait and i also have got this like fear of not knowing what it's going to end up looking like and i just like didn't want to take that risk so the last couple of months it's been between those two property types and we have ended up buying one of those. So either a Victorian terrace home or a warehouse conversion apartment. And obviously the place that we've bought is in inner city Melbourne because those two property types pretty much don't exist further than like five or six kilometers out of the CBD. So yeah, anyways, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm super excited to see which one you guys think that we bought. And obviously I will update you guys very soon. I'm gonna be filming this entire process from moving in to the things that we do to the place to like all the furniture and decor decisions and like everything. So you guys can absolutely come along for the ride and hopefully just experience this new chapter of life with us, which I'm so excited about. We're just so happy to actually finally have found somewhere that we love and that we can't wait to settle into and yeah, just begin life together. So it's very exciting. Anyways, I'm going to get back to sharing what I wore this week and stop talking about this first home situation because I've gone very off topic in this vlog, but um, yeah, that's all. Just went to the hairdresser this morning. I got a cut in color, nothing very exciting, but pretty much just like a refresh of what I already had. And this is the outfit that I wore this morning. I put this outfit together at like 8 a.m. So to be honest, I'm not even sure if I like it that much, but at the time it seemed okay. It was comfortable. It was also warm because it was really cold this morning. So yeah, this is what I wore. So starting off with my shoes, I just have on my Muji white sneakers. I actually do think I need to get another pair of these because they are so dirty. Except the thing is they're just gonna get dirty again. So I don't really see the point. For my bottoms, I was just wearing these light blue, very oversized, very comfortable vintage Levi jeans. Underneath my jumper, I've just got on a plain white t-shirt from Winkday Store and over the top, I've just got on pastel green jumper from Everlane. And on top, I've obviously got my Sax Pots amazing green leather jacket that we all know that I'm very obsessed with. I just had on this little bag, which is the same one that I was wearing the other day. It's just very comfortable, very easy to wear. And yeah, I sort of thought it went with the look. So yeah, this is my outfit of the day. It's cold. So now we're going out for dinner to celebrate my brother's birthday, but we're also obviously celebrating the fact that Nick and I are now homeowners. So I tried to wear something a little bit fancier tonight. So starting with the shoes, I've just got on my by far under the knee boots, which you guys have seen me wear many times before. For my dress, I've just got on the Saks Pots one that I was wearing in my last video. Then over the top of the dress, I just put on this awesome iris top. I don't know if this combination really goes or not, but I just sort of felt like wearing it and it was too cold to wear with nothing underneath. So we've also added in a little bit of a statement lip, as you can probably tell, which I think definitely makes the outfit feel a little bit more fancy and a little bit more evening and all that. So yeah, here's my outfit of the night. <laughs> 